Hello, in this video, I will explain to you on how to find out this I0. Here, the current that passed through that 5 ohm resistor, but we need to use Stefanin theorem. So, our goal is to find out I0. Okay, but we need to use Stefanin theorem. Okay, let's do it step by step. Stefanin theorem. Okay. The Thevenin equivalent circuit consists of two elements, which is the first one is the Thevenin voltage. So the first step that we need to find out is to find out what is the Thevenin voltage or VTH here. And then the second one will be to find out RTH. To find out RTH and let's see what can we get from here. But the first thing that I, I want to do is I want to find out VTH here. Okay, let's do that. We need to find out VTH. Find VTH. However, because our target resistor is this 5 ohm resistor, so we see this as load resistance. So, or in the notation, it's usually written as RL. So in the Thevenin's theorem, usually we take out the load resistance. So we take this out, right? Take this out. Take this out and we calculate the open circuit voltage, which is our VTH. So we need to redraw this circuit here. Let's redraw that. So we will have this 4 ampere current source still intact. So we'll have 4 ampere. And then we also have that 10 ohm resistor. So we will have 10 ohm resistor here. 10 ohm. And then we have also this 10 ohm resistor, right? And then we have this one here. So we'll have this as 10 ohm. And what is VTH? VTH is the open circuit voltage here. So this is what we are looking for, VTH. Okay, let's name this terminal as terminal A. So the voltage here will be VA. And this terminal here is B. So the voltage here will be VB. Okay, and let's set this our bottommost node here as our ground. So the voltage here will be zero because this is our reference node, right? Good. But then if you see here, we have this dangling 10 ohm resistor. Okay. And that means that there is no current that pass through here, right? Because the current have nowhere to go. It stops here. So the voltage in this node here will also the same as the voltage here. So the voltage here will be VA or we can just take out that 10 ohm resistor, right? And that is the same because there is no current that goes through that resistor like this. Good. Okay, now let's see here. We have a current source here and we know exactly that the current only goes here. So this current is 4 ampere. Right? And so we can calculate VA here. Right? So we can calculate VA. How? Because the current that passed through that 10 ohm resistor. So let's write that I. That will equal to this voltage, VA, minus this voltage here, right? Because the current comes from this node and it goes into this node. So I will have VA minus zero. And because we need current, we divide by the resistance between them. So I will have 10 ohm here. But we know that this current here is 4 ampere, so we can replace it by 4 here. And from here, we can just isolate VA, right? That means that we have 4 multiplied by 10 by cross multiplying. And VA minus 0 is just VA. And that means that VA is equal to 40. However, we are not looking for VA, but we are looking for VTH. What is VTH? Here, VTH is the difference between this node and this node here. 
So we will have PTH is equal to VA minus VB. Okay. However, VB here is the reference node. So that will equal to zero, right? So this is equal to zero. And that means that PTH is equal to VA. Therefore, we will have our PTH here is equal to 40. And the unit here will be in volt. Good. And this is one of the most important values here. So let's rewrite that in our side. So we'll have PTH here is equal to 40 volt. Okay, good. And now let's move on to the second step, which is to find out the Thevenin resistance. But we need a different circuit to find out the RTH. Okay, so let's clean up our slide first. Okay, let's get back to this version of this circuit here. And to find TTH, we need to turn off all the sources, right? So to find the Thevenin resistance we need to turn off sources turn off sources and we have that four ampere current source we need to turn this off and what does turning off a current source mean that will we will replace it by using open circuit right so we replace it by open circuit and we also still need to take this out that 5 ohm resistor to taking out. So, okay, let's redraw the circuit here. We replace this by open circuit, so we don't need to draw it, and I still have this 10 ohm resistor here. Okay, 10 ohm. And then, we still have this 10 ohm resistor there. And so we will have this 10 ohm here. Good. And now we take off this 5 ohm resistor. So this is terminal A. And this is terminal B. What is the Thevenin resistance? The Thevenin resistance is the equivalent resistance seen from this point here. RPH. And that is just a 10 ohm resistor and this 10 ohm resistor in series. We can just add them up. So I will have 10 ohm plus 10 ohm, right? Because this is 10 ohm and that is 10 ohm. So I will have the Thevenin resistance here. That will be 20 ohm. Good. Now we have RTH here, which is 20 ohm. Okay. But... Our goal is to find out what is I0 here, not the TTH and RTH, okay? And so we need to move on to step number three, which is draw the equivalent circuit. Draw the equivalent circuit, okay? And let's clean up our slide first. Okay, so far we get our FVTH and RTH. Let's draw the equivalent circuit here. Right? So we will have that 40 volt voltage source. So we will have this with the value of 40 volt. And then we also have a resistor which is have the value of 20 ohm. We have this 20 ohm resistor. And then, this is the Thevenin equivalent. So, this is the terminal. So, we have terminal A and this is terminal B. And then, we need to plug that 5 ohm resistor back. So, we will have this 5 ohm resistor here. Okay, that is 5 ohm. And the question is to find out this I0. And that is the last thing that we need to find out, which is to answer the question, right? Answer the question. And the question is asking us about I0. What is I0? I think we can just use Ohm's law to do this, right? So I will have I0 here. That will equal to this one here, 44, divided by the resistance, right? And the resistance is just 20 in series with 5. So I have 20 plus 5. And so we will have 40 
divided by 25. Good, that is I0. And I think I need to find out its decimal form, which is, let's use our calculator here. So we need to divide 40 by 25. And I will have 1.6. Okay, so I will have 1.6. And the unit here will be in ampere. And that is our answer here. We have achieved our goal, which is to find out I0 here using Tevenin's theorem. And that is our final answer. 1.6 ampere. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.